Hello. Today I found that this compass actually points the wrong direction. So we're going to try and make use of the electromagnetic effect to make it point the right way. If I show you my compass that I use all the time for orienteering, this one, it points north. North is this way, that direction in this house. If I turn the compass round, the needle points that way, whichever way I turn the compass. But this one, it's become demagnetized. It's got close to something magnetic in somebody's pocket or a phone or something. If I turn it round, it kind of vaguely points in one direction. It certainly doesn't point north. North was that way. If anything, it's pointing completely the opposite direction, and that's probably what's happened. It's become magnetized the wrong way. So I'm going to make use of electromagnetism to try and magnetize it the right way. So how would we make a magnet? If it wasn't magnetized at all, well, one way you can make a magnet is you take another magnet and you stroke it along the piece of metal um, in one direction. But this little piece of metal is sitting inside um, the compass housing. It's in a fluid. I can't actually get at the piece of metal. So we're going to have to use the op the other way of magnetizing something, which is to use an electromagnet. An electromagnet is passing a current through a coil of wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and wedge the compass so that the wire, the, the needle is pointing the way I want it to actually point, or at least pointing in one particular position. I'm going to wrap a coil of wire around the whole lot, and then I'm going to attach it to the power supply. But I'm going to have to work out which way to pass the current through the coil to magnetize it the right way. So how do I check which way to pass the current? So the way we have to pass the current, if I have a coil of wire which is kind of going like this and looping around in that direction, and I have it connected to a battery of some sort, okay, then the current would be flowing from the plus around the coil to the minus of the battery. And the way we work out which direction the magnetic field lines go, which end is north, is we use our right hand grip rule, the thumb points towards which end is north, and our fingers have to turn in whichever way the current is flowing. So in this case, the current is flowing in my diagram, it's flowing from the front towards the back, front again towards the back, it's flowing round that way. So if I made my fingers curl in the same way, like that, then my thumb would be pointing that way. Okay, so in this case, the magnetic field lines would be that way. If I put my little magnet needle inside it, then this end would end up point being a north pole, that would be a south pole, and it would point the right way. So once I've wound my coil of wire, I've got to work out which direction to pass the current to make that happen. So this is my compass. What I'll do is I'll wind the coil of wire around it in that direction, then I'll get it set up so that the compass needle is actually physically pointing the right way in the housing. Which is, which way is it going to be? Probably that way. No? Well, whatever. I'll get there when I get there. So, first step is to take my wire. I've got quite a lot of wire. I might not need to use all of it. And I'm going to wind this around the compass. Okay, it's all got tangled up. There we go. Right. So, let's wind some of my wire around the compass. I might not use the whole lot. If not, I'll have to cut a piece off. Right, let's get going. So, I'll take a bit on the end so that I can get connected. Then I'm going to wind the, the coil oops, round, round, round. Okay, oops, oh dear, let's get a better piece of wire. Okay, a bit more wire. I'm getting really tangled up on the bundle here. Okay, so I can get a bit more winding out of here. Because the more turns I have, the more the magnetic effect of the current will be, the big, the stronger the electromagnet I'll make, and therefore the more likely I am to remagnetize the compass needle properly. I'm going to cut the wire off there. Okay, that's a bit of a shame to cut it off. Okay, now I have to keep an eye on which end is which. Okay, and I'm going to strip the um, insulation off the end. Oops, excuse me, so that I can connect the wires to it. So that's connected the, that's taken the insulation off that end, and this is the insulation off this end. Okay, so I've got a coil of wire. What I want is I'm going to get it so that the needle is pointing, let's have it pointing that way, so the needle points that way. I want to make this end of the coil to be north. I know it's pointing the wrong way for the compass, but it doesn't really matter. 
So that end of the coil is going to be north. I've wound it pretty much exactly the same as my diagram. I've started at this end. The wire goes over the top and round the back, over the top, round the back, over the top, round the back, and it ends up this end. So if I set it up the same way as this, my fingers turn round the coil like that. If the current goes that way, then the north end of the coil will be that way and it will magnetize the red end of the needle to be north. So let's do that. So I need to connect this piece of wire to the red, which is the plus, okay, to match up with where I've connected it here. And I'm gonna connect this end to the minus. Okay, and I've not switched on yet. But now I need to get it arranged on the desk so that the compass needle is actually pointing towards this end, which is what she's going to be north. So if I get it like that, lined up, okay, lined up approximately north. So what I need to do now is switch on the current, and you'll notice the needle vibrate a bit, I think, um, because once it switches on, well, she's not quite pointed up. Okay, once it switches on, it's going to magnetize the needle. Let's go. There we go. So we can see something's happening there. Let's just switch off. Whoa! That's definitely changed it. It's pointing straight, straight to north now. So actually, I'll re-magnetize it a bit more, but I'm going to have to turn it round because the needle's pointing the other way now. Okay, so I've still got this end of the coil as north. I'm going to re-magnetize it. Okay, that's done it. I'll just do it a few more times. Every time I do it, it's going to make it a little bit stronger. Okay, switch it on and off a few times. So that's passing the current through the coil. It's re-magnetizing that needle. And it means that that needle is now pointing the right way. It's been magnetized back to the way it should be. So let's disconnect our coil and unwind all that wire. And we'll see how the compass works. Is it any better than it was? Okay, so that's taken the wire off. Let's just wind the ends around to make it a bit neater. So I've taken the wire off. That compass now, if I turn it around, that's, that's quite steady. That's actually pointing north, and it's pointing north as quickly as I turn it. Okay, that has definitely recovered. It's nearly as good as this one. This one points north. If I turn it around, it stays pointing north. Okay, it doesn't have that horrible kind of just randomly pointing the wrong direction for quite a long time, the situation that it was having before. So I think that's a success. That's now pointing the right way, and it's pointing the right way quite quickly, so we can use that as a compass. All down to electromagnetism.